<laughs> fight again. The moose rut season wraps up around mid-October. Oh, they're just goofing off, Dave. I guess so. Can you imagine calling your insurance Oh, my, well, yeah. My car's totaled. Two moose. <laughs> Two moose. Hey, beautiful afternoon going on out there. Here's our rooftop camera. The wind sock just hanging there. Not much wind downtown. A lot of sunshine. That'll change tomorrow. Bridget Chacon Biggs up in Boulder coming in at 66 degrees right now. She says she's got a little breeze going on up there. Uh, very, very light, though. A few clouds passing through the central portion of Colorado right now. I want to show you the big picture because this is... Uh, really going to change our weather coming up tomorrow in the weekend. We got a big old low up here in the Great Lakes and a low pressure trough that swings all the way down into the Gulf and then back into eastern Colorado. That's the cool down we had today. Out west, there's a big ridge of high pressure, and in between, we get what we call a pressure gradient between the high and the low, and that's going to shoot right from Montana into Wyoming and Colorado tomorrow and bring the jet stream along with it. So it'll kick up the wind, especially over northeastern uh, Colorado tomorrow. Then we're watching. In this low, by the time we get to late Friday into the weekend, cold front comes through for Saturday into Sunday. We'll get some clouds, cooler temperatures, maybe a sprinkle of rain on Saturday night around Denver. Now, with that wind coming, uh, we get really got to pay attention to this because the drought monitor came out today, and you can see just east of DIA, out into northeastern Colorado, conditions have gotten worse, as worse as far as dryness out there. They've gone from severe to exceptional across that area. Most of the late end of the summer, things had been starting to improve, but we've been dry for a while out there. So with the wind coming tomorrow from Fort Collins, Loveland, Longmont, all the way into northeastern Colorado and down to Kit Carson here, we've got a red flag warning for high fire danger noon to 6 tomorrow. Wind gusts up to 35 mile per hour. Humidity levels under about 15%. Any little spark could take off tomorrow. Cold night tonight for some will be in the 30s and 40s here in the east and west with mostly 20s and 30s in the mountains. In particular, from Vail into Glenwood Springs, that Colorado River Valley down there. Vail's about 30, but we have a hard freeze warning. It could get down to about 29 from Eagle into Glenwood Springs in Carbondale from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. High temperatures tomorrow, a nice rebound here. 70s and 80s to the east, 70s west, and we'll be in the 50s and 60s up in the mountain region. So after we uh, cool down in the mid-40s tonight, 75 tomorrow, 66 on Saturday, might get a shower late, 60 on Sunday, and in fact, the whole state on Sunday cools off into the 50s and 60s. You can see that there to finish out the weekend. And then we hover in the upper 60s to near 70 all the way through next weekend. And on that Saturday, 71 degrees. I'm going to take you beyond that now. we got this high pressure coming in for the weekend. That is going to settle up for a mild week ahead. And then not this weekend, but next weekend, the weekend of the 23rd, another trough comes through. This is a strong one out of Canada that might actually change our weather pattern and actually get us into the cool and wet side of fall by that time. Until then, though, it's going to be dry and it's going to be mild with those 60s and 70s holding on for that whole time there. So we need that pattern to change just because it's been so dry around here. So that'll be good. Yeah, I like the low thing going. <laughs> <laughs> I work it, man. It I is, work man. That. It really, I'll tell you, it could be bad. <laughs> wax on, wax on. <laughs> the Women's Foundation of Colorado.